Yeah. So we got to bring it back. I want to play them against them. I'm, dude, the second game was that was fraudulent. Yeah. Oh, they're playing. Okay. Yeah, Jeff got the knee, and then like he clipped him, but because of the slant, it was a weak knee. I'm like, that's cool. Zach's mad good though. So we got um, Car Boys versus OG Papa Safe. That was actually Allen's Twitter too, but that originally was their team name, mm -hmm. Kevin and Allen. So I don't know, man. On paper, I would, I, guess, I would say Kevin and Allen just because they're more of team players compared yeah. to Azusa being the weak link. But honestly, dude, like it's not going that way thus far. Though. These players are evenly matched. And like, even though Austin's probably not the best teams player, I, he's one of the better singles players too. Yeah. So I don't know. He also plays Peach, right? So like, he just needs to. I mean, it's not that simple, right? But if he can hold stocks, like, and like, do the defensive things he needs to do, wall right. people out, like, he can. He'll cause problems. Yeah, you don't have to go too ham, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, well, we're out of play, so. Uh, okay. Again, two. All right. Good luck. Okay. All right. So, blue team. Going ham for sure right now. Um, PPU had a few unfortunate deaths as Fox. Okay, this is big right here. Okay, PPU's Fox gets out of that. Um, oh. See, so yeah, I think um, it's going to be tough for Green Team to bring it back this particular game. Um, Fox is already at 53%. Peach is not taking too much damage. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh wow, that shine was very, very brave. Um, coming in after the down smash. Yes, this is going to be tough. Uh, PPU is already a kill percent. Um, he can't take, even though Peach does have a stock, he just needs to get some mileage out of this one. Okay, so here we go. Um, okay, so if they can, they have a positional advantage here. If they can get the kill on both of them here, maybe something can happen. But. Flux is already taking a lot of damage here. It's going to be difficult. Um, any straight hit now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Good save by uh, Alan. So I wonder where they're going to go. Probably going to ban. Um, actually, there are no bans. This is semi. So we might see Yoshi's. Eh, I don't know, actually. Maybe Stadium? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Oh no, Susanna is, Susanna is famous for sure. What are you talking about? She's super famous. You'll see her in the streets. So stadium, okay, yeah, this makes sense. I I was like somewhat expecting this. Um, yeah, so green team playing more reserved and positionally thus far compared to the initial game. Um, PPU being a little more measured in his approaches. Uh, walks into a down smash right now. Joined by Gidora. Gidora, how do you pronounce your tag? Uh, Ghidorah. Ghidorah, yeah. So we're here commentating the team's match between Juan and Azusa and then Alan and Kevin, I believe? Yes. Okay, it's game two. Game one was on Battlefield. It was not really that close, actually. Really? Um, yeah. In the favor of Alan and Kevin? Yeah, uh, Kevin. No, Duan and uh, Austin. Oh, Sousa wow. won game one. Um, PBU just died a few times pretty early in the game. They just never really had any effect there. Um, oh, my gosh. Nice. That was a good selection to down smash right there. But I think this is going a little more. Oh, wow. Oh, He got hit three times, actually, out of that up smash. That was a really good nair by Azusa. I think he was trying to you know, just give Shroom a second chance to live yeah. from that up smash. Yeah. He died anyway, but <laughs> at a lower percentage, it would have worked. Oh, wow. Raw oh, fair. wow. I can't believe I killed off top. I thought that PPU was going to get down smash there. Yeah. I made it back to ledge pretty good, though. Nice. A lot of up smashes. That's pretty much Fox's forte in teams, is just back air up smash. <laughs> and Edgar really well. Yeah. I mean, he has both the sorts of moves that can wall people out and obviously really yeah. kills. Um, and he moves incredibly well across the stage. It's hard to hit. Blue team has brought this back. Um, yeah, pretty considerably. I don't understand how she got back on right there. <laughs> oh, oh, that was interesting. Kevin trying to go for Alan. I mean, Kevin trying to go for Azusa, but I think Azusa froze Alan right there. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice Ooh. coverage. Yeah. That illusion. Nice. 
very weird to kind of tell what their game plan is because I feel like these players don't have very good synergy together. Like, which considering, shoe? what's that? Which shoe don't have? Uh, maybe both. I don't know because it seems like these guys don't play together very often, at least in teams. Uh, and it's kind of showing. It's a lot of one v ones and then just people trading off matchups or anything. Oh yeah, they got the. Oh my God! So. Uh, <laughs> Zach and Sheridan today got an eight stock versus Luis My and team. Julian. Yeah. <laughs> My team, unfortunately. Yeah. That's um, that's super. I blame Luis for going chic. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we got whooped the second game, obviously. But I mean, yeah, a total of three stocks were taken that set, I believe. They're good enough that you just gotta play. You gotta play your mains. Yeah. Against people that good, you can't oh, play. Wow, your mains. two shines against the one. That'll be it. And this should be the set, or rather the match. Uh, this is, it'll be 1-1 one, one if they yeah. uh, hold on to this. Right. And this should be an easy edge guard. Or... Oh. Well, this actually is not out of the realm of possibilities for a comeback. Now it is. You know, in those situations, I almost feel like let the Peaches fight and then let the Fox just kind of come in and clean up something. Because the yeah. Peach is going to have to commit to something eventually, right? Exactly. Um, because once they just trade hits or whatever, then they're in lag and you can just go in and punish them with right. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where they're going to go. We might see Dreamland. Uh, Peachy. I'm not sure, actually. Um, this is a very odd matchup for teams. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. So Ban and is Are they going to Yoshi's, maybe? Maybe. Kevin might switch to Marth He's hovering well. over Marth. Yeah. Um, don't think he would do that if they're going to Dreamland. Yeah. He might prove me wrong, though. Either Yoshi's or possibly Pokemon. Now, is this best of three or best of five? This is out of five. This is okay. So okay. This, is, this is out of five. So, um, huh. in that case, yeah, I think Pokemon Stadium would be a good pick here. Or Yoshi's. Yeah. Yoshi's okay. Okay. Makes it so this will be interesting. I mean, this is going to be pretty much just holding the center. Yeah, right. Um, Alan on his McCain, just down smashing three times, standing still. <laughs> So, I mean, here, I'm assuming that green team wants to get Kevin. Actually, I don't um, know which one of them wants to be in front, actually. I'm actually not sure. I um, think it's just innervating between who goes in yeah. front and who goes in back, depending on yeah, which yeah. the opponent is coming forward. Yeah. It's really interesting to watch Kevin play teams because you see that kind of strategy come out like, okay, how are we going to approach them if someone's on top, someone's on the bottom, if this character approaching and the other characters back there. He grabbed the ledge so oh, fast wow. right there. He did like a dash dance wave. That it wasn't like a, it wasn't hard tech. It was just very fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. It looks like Kevin's trying. For a few views, trying very hard to like not die quickly. I mean, which makes sense. But it seems like he's yeah. getting extra emphasis on. He's often retreating. Exactly. Um, he's kind of like struggling to keep Peach and Sheik from hitting him while he's above them. Yeah. And he's trying to get down so he isn't at risk of getting off stage. I think a lot of it's conscious, though. I, I think a lot of it's conscious. I think he just wants to be careful with his stocks. Because yeah. Marth will have the weakest oh. punishes. Oh, oh that could have been... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. A three-man team's combo. I, th I thought they dropped that oh. when uh, Azusa nared yeah. instead. But I think you got hit I think, by... I think Austin figured that it would hit him more up as opposed to back into the never hit for Duan. I thought he was going to down smash. Man, you can always assume Peach is going to down smash. <laughs> oh, that would have been really good. I feel like Alan and PPU have not gotten a great deal of traction in this game, but they're still, like, not that far behind. Yeah. Um, and here they have complete stage control. Um, oh, I think that PPU just forward smashed the Shy Guys on purpose, trying to get it to extend the hitbox. Right, to lag out and extend the hitbox into it. Um, yeah. I think on a less floaty character, it would have worked. This is actually incredibly close. Yeah. Oh, brother. So yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, that was a screen shaker right there. I mean, he's playing with a tank mindset. Um, yeah, yeah. It's uh, oh, oh what? Oh, Phantom? I maybe? I'm pretty sure it would have hit him out if it weren't a Phantom. No, right? no, it did Phantom. But okay, okay I, I I said that like inquisitively. I, it was yeah. obviously a Phantom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, sure. <coughs> nice. Wait, dash back forward smash. 
It's the most aggravating win quote ever. I wonder if they picked Yoshi's considering that he might switch to Marth. Like, I wonder if they actually thought about that or they were saying he's a fox, let's go to Yoshi's. Uh, I think, yeah, maybe either way it would have been that uh, outcome. But I think regardless of that, it's still better for the Marth, uh, Mark Peach matchup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, like, they're going back, so obviously they agree. <laughs> Last time here, it felt like blue team was in control for most of it, but they were never able to get a big lead. Right. But then once they lost, like kind of the stage positioning, they never got it back. Yeah. Wow, blue team's actually doing a really good job of stage control right now. And they can keep them off the stage. Oh and wow. I mean, honestly, this, it, it feels like this is what happened last time. They were just never able to, you know, they, they had the stage control. They had a lead. Yeah, they're set. just fighting to get it back. But it, they never extended that lead, though. That's um, true, yeah. They kind of did it as a, like as the game went on. They did stock yeah. for stock, and then eventually they just got either out-traded or out hedge guarded and they ended up losing. But this similar thing happens to most of uh, Marth teams I see, actually. That doesn't happen to Pew Pew, actually. I think he does a really good job of... I guess making sure his hits count for stocks because obviously that's the thing that matters like you can get a bunch of hits put the person to 120% but at the end of the day you're still stock to stock and that yeah. can change in like an instant from either side of the character matchup yeah but this game's about kills yeah exactly Not so damage. if a mark player or if any floaty player or whatever gets a bunch of percent on someone and then doesn't capitalize on it very well even if you get stage control it can still I guess the, moment, the momentum can shift either way, regardless of the percentage. Tough death there for QPU. Um, ooh. Wow, Dewan was in a... Okay. Yeah, Dewan was in a really risky spot right there, and then I guess he got punished for it. Now, this is insane. That was like... Dewan was edge guarding Azusa, while, or Alan, rather, while Kevin was fighting off Azusa? Man, this is complicated. I feel like that's also a situation that comes up a fair amount in teams, but it's often with a fox or right. something, or someone fast who can both fight the person in front of them and behind them. Yeah. But like if Marth or something, Marth can't really do anything for the person who's behind him in that yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly. And that's, I think that's a reason that those kind of matchups in teams are so volatile, because whereas this, I suppose with Marth and Peach, you have control over what's in front of you, like that's how you push stage control, you just push them in with these walls of fares and down tilts and whatever, or up tilts, what, uh, you know, what have you. But with box, you just stay center stage and whoever's on either side of you can't really approach without risking getting spaced out or hit and comboed by a back air into up air and whatever else. I think in this in this game, Kevin has not had as much success, I think, kind of staying out of the fray. He was being pretty selective last match, yeah. last game about when he fought. Yeah, um, I think uh, I think Dewan and Azusa have kind of figured out how to push them out better. That was definitely uh, shown pretty early on in the first couple stocks, mm -hmm. and. That